warm welcome to the Good Investing Talks podcast. I'm your host, Tilman Fersch, and the Berkshire meeting is coming again. In a good tradition, I want to use the chance to share interesting events and interesting content about the Berkshire meeting on this channel in the weeks ahead. So here you can find invites to events that are happening on the ground or interesting content. I hope you enjoy it and please RSP to the many events. Thank you. The audience of Good Investing Talks, it's great to have you back. Uh, and as you see Mac here uh, from Gabelli, you know that the Berkshire season is coming and we want to invite you again for events in Omaha. So Mac, it's great to have you on. Oh, it's great to be back. I appreciate it, gentlemen. And we're very excited too, <clears throat> also as well as the annual letter, which comes out this weekend. Yeah, and we are both looking forward to, to the Berkshire meeting. <laughs> it's like a lot of planning this year for me. We are going with a larger group from Good Investing Plus. And it's also great to have see all the other events coming back to Omaha in a more normal setting. So it's great to be back. Um, but as you're here, you also want to invite the people to your event. Maybe tell a bit about it. When does it take place? What kind of format is planned? Uh, But how to register is maybe, I already asked two questions, we discuss this later. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Tillman, again, thank you for having me. And it, it's great to connect with your uh, audience as well as, as everybody that will be attending there. I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be a much bigger audience uh, this year. So I, again, just to step back, uh, my name is McCray Sykes. It's great to be here. I work at a firm called Gabelli Funds, which was founded by Mario Gabelli. We're a $30 billion asset manager. Uh, and he and uh, Mario pioneered private market value with a catalyst research methodology. I'm one of 30 plus investment professionals here. I lead our group out to Omaha each year, and I also cover uh, the conglomerate from a research perspective. Uh, we've been attending the meeting for over 15 years, uh, and Mario previously to that. Um, so we we just love going out there. You know, we follow uh, Berkshire Hathaway as part of our value investing doctrine. And we go out there each year to learn the lessons from Charlie and Warren, of course. And we use this as an opportunity to bring together retail and institutional investors in our network. Um, we sponsor a meeting, <clears throat> a conference rather, Friday, May 5th, between 9 and 12, ahead of the AGM. We're going to do it at the Hilton Omaha this year. Uh, and if anybody has... You have moved location because of before it was at the, the baseball Ground. Right. So it was at the Charles Schwab ball field last year, which was terrific. Uh, we're now moving it to Hilton. There was a conflict with uh, the baseball game Friday night, which is a good thing for the uh, city, but um, it enabled us to, to move to the Hilton, which is a little more central to uh, investors just being across the street. So please, please take care if you're going there with your uh, <laughs> smaller brain part. Uh, you don't go to the Charles Schwab field. You go to the Hilton this time. Right. How much edition is it? How many times have you taken done the conference? Uh, this is our, um, I believe this is our 15th year of doing the conference. Uh, but we've been going out to Omaha for longer than that. Uh, the, so this is, we, we've had a continuous several set of sessions uh, to accompany the AGM. What can we expect there? What are kind of uh, panels are planned? We are recording this in February, late February. So it might change a bit, but you can already announce some some planned elements of the program yeah we i mean we have a terrific lineup um the first scheduled group will be a conversation led by myself i'm going to interview noted author adam mead and portfolio manager chris bloomstrand which i think are among some of the the best experts on berkshire hathaway outside of the organization uh and then following that my colleague brett kearney another portfolio manager here at gabelli will be interviewing two different local ceos from firms called valmont and Lindsay. so they are headquartered in omaha but have global operations and they will have great perspectives on infrastructure spending and also farm equipment spending uh, because of their core businesses and then finally um, as in past years we will have a value investing uh panel led by mario Uh, with his good friend, John Rogers of Aerial Funds. And that's always a great session for stock picks and catching up on market dynamics. I think Chris and Adam don't have to be introduced to the investing community. So if you're curious about them, there are some great videos out there. But maybe give me some more color on the companies you're inviting. What is interesting about them? And what are you trying to learn from them? Right. So 
uh, both Valmont and Lindsay we've followed for a number of years. And if you look at their websites, you will see that uh, Valmont is responsible for building a lot of the infrastructure related to highways and roads. So when you look at traffic lights and the poles that support those traffic lights, um, they are integral in ter terms of developing those products. Um, and then Lindsay uh, manufactures something called pivot uh, sprayers, and these go on farmland and irrigation. So uh, they have a global business. Uh, to help farming. And as you know, that's been a pretty dynamic space over the last couple of years because uh, of commodity prices, et cetera. Um, so both businesses are conveniently located in Omaha and leveraged to their farming community there. Uh, so, but provide a great perspective on some of the global opportunities for their businesses. So I think, you know, having them at our conference has been a, a long-term component of what we've done uh, in terms of visiting companies and doing research on them but also the convenience factor of having great local companies and leaders uh, to present to our audience. How interactive will the event be? So is there a chance to ask questions if you're there in person? Absolutely. So uh, the format will be panel fireside conversations. Again, it's at the Hilton Omaha, which is a, you know, a significant room uh, for our audience. So we we'll generally have between three and 500 people that attend. Uh, there's no cost to do that. You just need to sign up in advance. Uh, and then we would plan to Zoom uh, the, the different panels as well. So there will be an online component for those who can't travel. Uh, and we will have, as part of the presentations, Q&A, absolutely, as we have done in the past. So if you already mentioned that there is much more demand for the AGM this year and earlier demand, um, if you want to register, you should do it quickly, or am I wrong? this year, because I think at some point it might be booked out. Right. I mean, last year we kind of got booked up uh, and I would expect similar demand this year. Um, so we will be putting up the formal registration on our website shortly. I'm just sending that out to everyone. Um, and so you can look to do that. And you can also find it via the link below. There's a link to register if it's still open. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I, I mean, the reality is that Uh, the Berkshire Hath community brings in so many great investors and additional conferences. So there's just a, there's a lot of things to do during the weekend in terms of gathering intellectual capital and learning at the event. So we're just we're just proud to be a part of that and um, excited to see everybody there. But certainly expect it to be a full house. And if you due to any circumstances don't make it to travel to Omaha, you find the web live stream also on your website, uh, right the link below. Exactly. So we'll have the, the live stream central daylight time, and then we will record it. And so it'll be on our Gabelli YouTube uh, uh, website as well after that. So we'll post the, the sessions. And in fact, if you have an interest in, in previous sessions, you can go to that website and see some of our panels uh, from last year. So sometimes it's, it's fun to go back and look at some of the insights from those panels, then look at how the events played out during the year and Uh, and, 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 you know, also get excited for uh, the coming weekend. Hey, Tillman here. It's great that you've made it that far into the video. And I think it shows a certain passion for investing you're having. If you want to dive deeper and go further down the rabbit hole, you're invited to apply to my community, Good Investing Plus. It's a place that's very helpful to people who are ambitious about investing. Uh, it's helpful to investment talent as well as um, experienced fund managers. So if you're interested, please click on the link below. And now, without further ado, enjoy the conversation. That sounds like a great event. Is there anything else you want to add that potential visitors should know or should care about? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, it's just a great event uh, experience. I mean, it's a one-of-a-kind company, and of course, the feedback from the leaders is, is exceptional and, and dynamic. Um, so I, I, I really encourage everyone that can get there and, and do, and as well as you know, perhaps be involved in the virtual sessions as well. I mean, I, I, I do think it's an incredible amount of uh, intellectual capital that's shared in that community and uh, for business leaders, individual investors, and retail investors as well. Uh, so we're just we're very excited to be out there. Uh, to see everyone and expect a you know an even fuller session this year as as well as some great feedback um, from Warren and Charlie uh, on Saturday. And for Saturday, 
Is there any hack you could give for people who want to get a good seat in the conference hall? What is your, uh, what is your way yeah. to get the best seat for you? Or is there, is, is it, doesn't it matter where you have the seat? Well, um, I, I guess when you go to a Taylor Swift concert, there's no, you know, no bad seat in the house. And I would say that's probably the same with, with this one. Uh, but my colleagues and I get up very early on Saturday morning uh, and we stand in line just like all the other enthusiasts for the Berkshire meeting. And so we're among the first that, that kind of run in there to get seats for our colleagues. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do that. You see a lot of people that are online and, and it's collegial and exciting and it's a long day, but it's, it's obviously uh, a lot of fun as well. It's a different way of being online. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. This event. <laughs> so if people see you, they can also say hello. Uh, who've watched the video, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, Mario's walking around and, and, you know, we have a lot of great people that are out there, too, as part of our organization uh, to learn. So Great. Then very happy to see you in Omaha. And thanks for your time and the invite to the event. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Tillman. I appreciate and see, look forward to seeing you out there. Bye-bye.